Why choose the Republican Party? Well, that's a long story, and it, that for me that was an easy story. I mean, one, because uh, I believe the man who was president when slavery finally ended was a Lincoln. He happened to be a Republican. Since that date, every civil rights bill ever passed by the Congress, save the last one, there were more Republican senators that voted for that bill than Democrats. The most people, you go over there's a book by uh, who the Greenfield girl who you know the. the uh, Washington Post, Bank, mm -hmm. and she said, I finally woke up. Uh, secondly, uh, or thirdly, uh, as I said, you know, my family was somewhat involved in the Underground Railroad, and we know that. Uh, fourthly, you know, my, my mother's father, you know, got appointed by so-and-so. Uh, fifthly, when I first registered, would be in 19, to vote would be 40, not 40, which one after 40? 44. You know, Roosevelt had been in three terms, and I figured maybe you ought to change. Uh, uh, fifthly, uh, my wife's father, Dr. Harden, was from New Orleans. In 1952, uh, he was a member of the Louisiana delegation to the Republican Convention in Philadelphia. Another member was John Maynard Wisdom, who was the great judge in the Fifth Circuit, when the Fifth Circuit arrived, they were the two people that led the delegation from uh, from Taft to Eisenhower, and Eisenhower got elected. And thereafter, when uh, uh, the, uh, Eisenhower, before he got sworn in, uh, asked uh, John Maynard Wisdom, what do you want? Because you supported me crucially. He said, I'm going to be a federal judge. He, Came great judge in physics. He asked Dr. Harden. Dr. Harden said, "Nothing I want. I just want to uh, practice medicine." And uh, I didn't. I said, "Well, you got to do something for you, doctor." He made him the commissioner of the Port of New Orleans, which meant he didn't have to give up his practice. His only task was whenever a ship came into New Orleans, it had to. Uh, he had to go out and ask the sailors whether they were mistreated in an illness. For that, he got a fee of one half or one percent of the value of the cargo. So, so, <laughs> so uh, you know, and then Thurgood Marshall always told me, don't you ever become a Democrat? I have somebody in that party. <laughs> so, no, I'd give you a lot of other reasons, but that's it. But most, I would say, having said that, many of the advantages I got was because the Democrats gave them to me. I mean, after all, Felix Frankfurt was a Democrat. Judge Goodrich was a Democrat. Uh, Lyndon Johnson was awfully nice to me. Uh, Richardson Dilworth, who I practiced with, was a Democrat. So I've never, you know, I, well, I tell my Democratic friend, I'm nothing until a month before the election. And I, you know, <laughs> no, but seriously, but this is something that has to be debated, not on this program, but I think you, right. people have to pay attention to it. Yeah. 